right? Brachat Yahweh, Brachat Yahweh Shai, Brachat Yahweh, Brachat Yahweh Shai. Oh Lord Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Achav Dash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone, Shalom Labaquarium. All right. Yahweh is the name of the heavenly Father, which means He is Bashem, which means in the name of Yahweh Shai is the name of the only begotten Son who was sent to deliver the children of Israel from their sins. Okay. His name means He is. I'm sorry, he is the deliverer, excuse me. That's the name of the Heavenly Father. Bashem Rechavadash, which means in the name of the Holy Spirit, and that same spirit is where we come in, in the name of uh, the truth. All right? The comforter, the spirit of understanding, okay, which is going to sustain us in these last days. The scriptures tell you knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of our, our times. All right? The strength of salvation, which is what? Basically, our faith. What, we, what we're going to rely on, what we're going to lean on in these last days, okay? Now, this is basically going to be a various topics, speak on different things. Uh, again, I want to talk about these last days. Uh, videos are circulating about food shortages, shortages, all right? Uh, electrical outputs, meaning what? There's not going to be any electric in certain areas. Okay, to where, you know, people are not going to be able, hey, man, you don't got no electric. In some homes, you can't heat the house if it's cold. You know, you can't cool it off if you're uh, in the summertime, if it's warm, the climate is warm. All right. So people are going to go back to that natural, uh, 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 natural energy, man. Okay. Or, you know, people are going to go back to the ways things used to be <laughs> you know if you would need heat you need to dig a fire pit you know you want to cool off you can you know insulate areas and things of that nature whatever the case is all in all you know we're gonna we're coming into a time where these sustainable things these so-called sustainable things are not going to be sustainable anymore they're not going to be there for you to, to to depend on and the only thing you're going to have to depend to depend on is the God you worship. And in the men of the Lord's case, all right, it's Yahweh, the name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai. Okay, because one way, shape, or another, we're going to get sustained through whatever turmoil or obstacles that come our way. Okay, and the Lord is showing us that right now. All right, that's why we're trimming the fat on the things that you know, we need to trim out the fat on, man. Okay? Subseding, if that's the right word, or um, getting away from the lust of this world, man. Which a lot of the lust of this world comes through meats, drinks. Okay? Women, those are like the three main things, man. Okay? The, 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 the lust of men. Okay? Which, which, which are those three things, essentially, man. You know? whatever other desires however we're living in a time where we're ordering our steps to right like the scripture says okay in uh, Ecclesiastes the second chapter Ecclesiasticus and Apocrypha the second chapter the scriptures tell you to order your steps to right why so you when you order your steps all right and gain management if you will all right what happens is is that you're able to see more clearer man Okay, you're able to see the bigger picture at hand. Okay, when you have a bunch of clutterances and, and things to block your vision, okay, you can't see the bigger picture. And the bigger picture is building your relationship with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to identify what he wants you to do and how he communicates with you. Okay? It's not about pleasing a, another man. Pleasing another man is not satisfying Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Flat out. Okay? Your brother's got different titles and things of that nature, but all in all, the goal is to build up your relationship with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah for these last days. That's the knowledge and the wisdom that shall be your stability in these last days. All right? The knowledge of what? What the Heavenly Father wants. Okay, what's the wisdom? Knowing what's coming before it happens. Okay, the scripture says, a prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself.
That's the definition of wisdom, man. Seeing things before it happens and actually acting upon it based upon what you know. Discernment, okay? You have, you have to be circumspect, which the word circumspect means uh, in the Hebrew is shakol, okay? Which sha is pertaining to, call meaning all, okay? So pertaining to everything, you got to get a scope on everything, okay? And to discern, in the Hebrew, the word is bayan, which uh, literally means to cut. So when you get the full spectrum, you get the, the radius <laughs> or the diameter, if you will, all right? You cut through it, man. You know, okay, this is my angle I need to take, okay? Because uh, your next wrong, your next step could be the wrong step, man, all right? We're opening up. When you, your next step, every, every decision you make, okay, is a portal being opened. And it's going to either bring you closer to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, or it's going to bring you further away. And no one, no man on this on this earth, all right, is exempt from that from that those decisions. Okay. And uh, also too, I'll speak on briefly. You know, I had a uh, dream. You know, last night, and uh. Basically, it was a vision. It had to be a vision, man. I kept going to sleep, wake, and, and, and basically seeing the same thing over and over. And the synopsis of the dream, okay, or the vision, if you will, was, hey, look, man, there's going to be some heavy turmoil. For some reason, it was like these red drops, and it was like acid or whatever it was. And you got hit by these red drops, and you could see like six or seven of them in the sky. But when it dropped, it's almost like the missiles to where it would sprinkle and hit people, man. And, if, and people knew... Once these red drops, once these red balls would be in the air or whatever, they look like little red dots, man. You know? And they were all lined up in a ray. And once they were, we would see them in the sky, they would drop and everyone would take and take high for shelter. And they, and they actually would destroy shit. It would burn people up. So it was almost, now that I'm speaking on it, it was symbolic to the missiles. But I say this in my dream, I just, I. The spirit was just on me to just not even look up and just, I just kept saying, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, and I just walked. Everyone else was panicking, you know, and taking, hiding, ducking from shelter. There was people that were with me in the dream, certain men that we know, I don't have to mention their names, but it was men of the Lord that were in the dream, and they were, they were actually like disappearing. You know, myself, I just walked into a building, and I went back out after it cleared, and everybody was gone. Except people that I grew up with, they were hiding for shelter. Some of them was worrying about getting evicted for some reason. But everything was just damaged. But they were still worrying about getting evicted. All right? And they were telling me to go talk to the landlord. I said, yo, look, for some reason, <laughs> I had to go to another place, man. Uh, 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 I basically had to, I, I had to go to San Francisco <laughs> for some fucking reason. You know, I was like, man, I got to go, man. You know, I gotta be out, man. I gotta go, man. Like pretty much, like I'm not, I'm not trying to find. I'm not looking for your your landlord to tell you that you know gotta be evicted. But all in all, the synopsis of the dream was basically have faith, man. Although these things are coming, yeah, men may get evicted. Okay, you know the destruction is coming, the pestilence is coming, and we not. The Lord did not give us the spirit of fear to where we're supposed to be worrying about. Oh, like for instance, if a disease break out. And you worry about the strand and you know how it works and whatever the case is. Nah, man. You know, in the time to come, we don't we're not even gonna have the time to worry about how to dissect the strand of a disease. All we're gonna have is just faith. And whether or not your faith is enough to sustain you in these last days. Okay? I might name the video that. Do you have faith, enough faith to sustain? And all we need is a faith is the size of a mustard seed, man. Alright? Hey man, when you look at the scriptures, when you look at the uh, 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 the prophets when they spoke, read Zephaniah the first chapter, man. No, I'm sorry. Yes, it is Zephaniah. The, read Zephaniah the first chapter, man. That that chapter is all about destruction, I believe it was, man. Zephaniah the first chapter. All right, see the Zephaniah or Zechariah. Yeah, it was Zephaniah, man. Salakia, man. It was Zephaniah. It's right after uh uh uh. Habakkuk, okay? Right after, right at the book, right after Habakkuk. Amen. And look, 
as that chapter is all about destruction, man, and what the Lord is going to do in his fierce anger. Okay? And, and, and it's going to be so much, just like the scripture says, uh, it's so much as if uh, you uh, uh, you escaped the serpent and then, uh, 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 then a bear met you. All right? So it's going to be so much things back to back to back to back. And brothers are talking about it, how brothers are sending out so many articles on so much wickedness and, and different uh, uh, different plagues and different prophecies manifesting. It's happening at a fast rate now. It's going to pick, the, the pace is going to pick up even more so in these last days. More and more things are speeding up to where we, we don't have time to, you know, figure things out. That's why the spirit is heavy on Apostle Tahar to tell men to stop with the debates. Right? You know? Like, it's pointless, man. The time is going to come where it's going to be a, a great influx in, in every camp, okay? To where it's going to be crowds of people and you're going to have to deal with them. It ain't going to be time to deal with one person scenario, man, okay? Now, if men are sincere, man, they're going to get taught, they're going to get fed what they need to be fed to what? To sustain in these last days. Everybody's not going to need the breakdowns to Daniel 7 and Daniel the second chapter and Revelation uh, 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 6, Revelation 9. People ain't going to need, not everybody going to need that, man. We're, we're fortunate to actually grab these things to have a greater understanding of things to come so we're able to break it down to the portion that every man needs. That's the same, just like when you feed someone, you don't feed a child a whole steak, all right? You don't feed a child You don't feed a, a child a toddler or, or, yeah, you don't feed a toddler a, a full course meal. You give them, you don't give them a bunch of bread. One second. Salakia. Yeah, you don't feed a child a, 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 a full, like, you know, when you, hypothetically, when you go to a fancy, a so-called fancy restaurant like Olive Garden or, or Red Lobster, which that's not really fancy, okay? Or fo a focal day child. All right, the Brazilian joint. All right, where they feed, they come in and feed unsustainable, uh, 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 un, about, uh, unsatiable amount of meat. And they just come slicing it, bringing it and 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 bringing it until you say no mas, until you say no more. Right? A child can't hold that. What do you do with a child? You get a child, get them high chair. They have specific menus for a child. To so look, it's a certain portion that they know that typically food is not gonna get wasted. And that the, when the child eats this, it will sustain the child and they'll be satisfied to where they're good, okay? And we, I say all that to say because even with us, with the knowledge that has been taught to us, we're supposed to be looking for what's sustainable in these last days what's going to hold you down okay what's going to what's going to have you satisfied man remember in that movie I th it wasn't red dawn it was the other one where uh basically the koreans yeah basically the koreans uh i believe the chinese were with them as well and it was thermal nuclear destruction and then the people hid out in the basement and you seen the Jake, I forget the name of the movie, man, but you, it was a one Jake and then you had the Edomites bugging out and they raped the woman and the gooks wound up coming down in the basement and taking the child, you know? Um, and that woman wound up surviving or whatever the case is, but uh, all in all, the Jake, what did he have? He had that little cup of water and he just had, and he would just sip it as he would go. Why? Because he knew without throughout the time, if he just guzzled it and then drank it, that wouldn't that wouldn't sustain him throughout the time. So it's very important to get the portions and the measures that's necessary for you. All right. And a lot of it, I'm let me say this. I'm not, let me not say a lot of it, but a strong thing brothers need to do, and I know this for myself more and more day by day is to do more reading 
Okay, yeah, we watch the videos. That's that's great. Watch the videos. You know, it's good to watch videos, especially the videos that are that are uh, 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 suitable to the spirit. All right, watch videos that are suitable to the spirit and suitable to things that's going on. You see a title, something that's going on, something in your life or whatever. That's the videos. You know that I I I, uh, I suggest. You know that I, I that brothers should watch. Okay. But other than that, get into the scriptures, man. All right. You get the, the the Lord gave us the milk already, man. We, we we got the milk. We got the foundation. All right. Go and search out the scriptures, man. Okay. Because the script that's what the scriptures say. Seek ye, uh, 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 search out the scriptures, for in him for in it you shall find life. Okay. The scriptures is what's gonna give you life. Which is what? That water, man. Okay, that bread, the bread of life. Okay, the living water. The living water and the bread of life is in those scriptures. That's your hour shy. It's funny, man, because I when I when I go to especially listening to the scriptures, you know, I like to listen to hip hop, listen, you know, listen to a little underground rap here and there, whatever, whatever. You know? But sometimes I'll be like, man, let me go, I gotta see what your shy talking about, man. Okay? Because that's your relationship. That's what you're doing. You're building a relationship with Yahweh Shai. But when you go into the scriptures, man. Okay? Yeah, uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has established his men to guide us. To understand the lingo that Yahweh Shai speaks in. It's our duty now to go into the scriptures and figure it out on our own. Okay? And the Lord will... Feed you with knowledge that's convenient. That's another word, man. Okay? Conveniency. That's conveniency is what's sustainable. This that's when you go into the energy field, the whole energy uh, uh aspect, energy efficiency, world, anything that's energy efficient is good enough to sustain. It's not too much, and it's not not enough. Okay, it's just the right amount. That's what makes things efficient to, to sustain. Okay, so that hey man, that's uh, that's pretty much it, man. You know, we've seen throughout time how money has not been the way to go. We've seen throughout time that the guns haven't been the way to go. All right, the only thing left. Is the scriptures The ways of Yahweh Shai That's what we have to Basically uh, 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 Put to the test Scripture says put, Lay your burdens upon me Okay The scriptures tell you To cast your burdens on Yahweh Shai Man That's the test it's Essentially it's take, get, take off your burdens And give it to Yahweh Shai or are you going to try to take matters into your own hand? Okay, I'm going to close off with that. Call the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah, Bashim, Rechach, Dash. All right, double honor to the apostles, elders, the great millstone, taught us this truth. Shalom, Labakari. Peace to the elect. Shalom.